Working out doesn't have to just be in the gym. They can come in many different shapes and forms, such as yoga. I'm Cameron Morris. My name is Jamal Ingram. Well, for school, when, uh, I was taking physical education. One of my professors required us to take an outside course within the rec center. And one of the courses I decided to do was yoga. And yeah. I wanted a type of exercise that wasn't as intimidating and um, because I usually run. But I found out that yoga was pretty challenging. <laughs> The instructor is my favorite part by far. Um, they have a pretty big sense of self and confidence, and it's nice to be surrounded by that. Uh, my favorite part is the peace, the silence within the room. The, the, the professor or the instructor basically cut off all the lights, asked everybody to like stay quiet, silence all phones, and she turned on like some peaceful music to get your mind like clear. And, so you can enjoy the session better. And it's just like a peaceful moment out, like doing the whole experience. Some claim that yoga actually had a better effect on them than working out. Yes, I actually have, not, not, not only my body, but my mind just as well. And with taking yoga, of course, you become more flexible and you're able to physically enhance your body. So yeah, I noticed a, di a major change. Okay. I think so. I feel like um, definitely my core is a lot more stable than it was prior. And, um, and your arms too. For me, I didn't work out my arms a whole lot before, but now um, I've had to, so. I think so. I think it is um, a way of reconnecting with yourself. They talk a lot about connecting with your own breath when you're in a position. Um, and so it's a way of grounding yourself. And that can be spiritual as well. So I wouldn't necessarily say more spiritual, but I do like the different many positions that she has to do during each yoga session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that. Like, I was at peace more with certain uh, positions than the other. There's some positions that are harder than, like, you're a beginner. There's a lot of positions that are harder on your body and it requires you to uh, stretch more. And it's, it's, it's a painful, it can be painful at first, but after a while, you get, you get used to it and it's more peaceful than the first time that you tried it out. So, I'll say that, yeah. I don't have to say the gym, but the yoga does help me clear my mind. So, yeah. I think with running, I feel more productive. Um, like my my day is, you know, like I could start the day, run, and then work and be a little bit more high energy. But with yoga, it's just more of like a, um, it's like a sustainable, even energy instead of that like up, you know? I would definitely say with the class because of the instructor. Okay. Um, just because they feel so confident about what they're doing. You know, it, it definitely is like a contagious kind of feel to it. Mm -hmm. I would prefer to do a class or a small group. The reason why I say a class or a small group is because that's how I first experienced it, was with a class of small group, and I enjoyed the experience. Everybody, after the class, enjoyed it. We talked about the experience, and it just, and I actually did it with a few of my friends. 
And we like saying we're gonna start doing it more consistent basis because you know, we like the exercise we were doing, the breathing techniques and the, the mindset it had that put you in after you're done with the yoga session. So yeah, I say either small class or a small group. With yoga having such a positive review, I see why it's took half the nation's interest.